All right, so when I got over to uh, the team at NYU, uh, uh, and I had some good news and, and, and some bad news. Uh, the first thing all the doctors told me is that I had to lose some weight. They were more concerned about my heart health than uh, my prostate uh, cancer. That was interesting because I'm a big guy and I carried uh, my weight uh, pretty well. You wouldn't have called me fat. I don't think had you seen me, and at my peak I was 365. I was 335 when I came in here to meet the uh, integrative uh, team. And uh, as many of you know, uh, the technology is changing. Uh, the MRI can see uh, the prostate cancer. You follow up and get a targeted biopsy. And I had those treatments uh, early on, and it's kind of some good news, bad news. I had. Uh, couple of quarters of Gleason 6 coming in off a random biopsy. Um, on the targeted biopsy, one of the cores was downgraded to a pin, the other one was confirmed Gleason 6, but uh, there was a random uh, Gleason 7 with a 3-4 component. That was uh, a little more concerning given my uh, life expectancy. But I also found out that uh, I had one of the largest prostates the team had ever seen, 175 grams, which is like seven times the normal size. And before they could do any uh, treatments, uh, I had to lose some weight, 50 pounds. I was 335 at the time. Uh, Dr. Lepore introduced me to his colleague, uh, Dr. Espinoza. And uh, I tell you, after meeting with Dr. Espinoza, I uh, I became a little angry because I, his message needs to get out. I was totally unaware of the dietary links uh, to the disease. And um, so I un started to understand the, the dietary links and his program, both nutrition, lifestyle, and supplements. And I started to say to myself, if I got a chance to control this disease or have a better outcome by changing my behavior, uh, why not take full advantage of that opportunity?